Hey. Wake up. It's another putting video. Yeah, I know. Kind of boring, but vitally necessary if you want to succeed in this game. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and today we're going to talk about some of the tools that I'm using for putting now. Before you ask, no, this is not sponsored by either of these two. I, I work with both of them to help give you discounts on stuff, so you will see my codes linked in the description below for both of these. But I use these because they're extremely useful, and they've helped my putting game significantly. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me use both of these before already. But it's tough to tell you how I use them and why I use them in that format. So I figured a long form video would probably be more useful. And I'll just, I'll spotlight both of them. And moving forward in my videos, you will see both of these used very regularly. The first is the D-clip. Let me uh, give you a little close up on the D-clip, right? People are like, what's that green thing? Uh, I lost my, my, my original D-clip, uh, I left it <laughs> at a course. Uh, comment below if you have a problem with that too. I don't lose discs, I lose my equipment <laughs> because I leave it. I lost a glove, I left a D-clip, it's just, it's, it's terrible. Anyway, uh, the D-clip, what, what this is, it's, it's a weight, all right? This one is uh, 232 grams. Uh, the one that I lost was my 180 gram, which doubles the max weight of a, of a disc. Uh, but this is 232 grams, uh, and what it does is just clips on your disc, sort of just like that, and you lock it in place, and it adds weight to your disc, okay? So I liken this to the old school donuts that you used to put on baseball bats to warm up with before you went up to the plate, right? You, you practice swing with a little donut on the bat. That, that, that's basically what this is. Uh, I use this uh, in different ways for different things, but since this is a putting video, I'll, I'll just show you uh, how I use this for putting uh, and you're gonna lose this in the view a little bit Let me adjust the camera and show you the first way that I use the d-clip All right, you're probably still gonna lose it, but this is the first way that I use the d-clip So you, you've seen Calvin Heimberg before and you've seen me um, reference this drill before he does the finger pop drill right hold your putter like you're you're putting and then just pop it up in the air right little finger pop drill and this helps you engage your fingers and popping the disc and getting rotation in your disc, right? And the point of this drill is to go straight up and down as high as you can, straight up and down, as high as you can, and put as much spin as you can, right, with your fingers. Uh, you, you incorporate a little bit of wrist, but you really wanna focus on your fingers here. Uh, I've done that a whole lot, and after a while, it, it just becomes repetition, and if you wanna get stronger, then to me, you have to put a little resistance against it, right? And that's where the D-clip comes in. Now, there's three different weights of this. Uh, there's a 120 gram, 180 gram, and a 232 gram. Actually, I think there's a fourth one that's heavier than this one. I'll have to ask Hans, or he can comment below. So you you would want to start out with the lightest one, right? If, if you're not doing just regular disc weight, you'd want to start out with the lightest one. I've been doing this for a months now I think um, so I'm up to the 232 gram and I just I put the weight on the disc but I just use it now to throw the disc up in the air and get as many rotations as I can right and it really helps strengthen the fingers up to give you a lot more pop on the disc as you're releasing to give that spin give you extra distance keep the disc in the air longer so that's the first way that I use the d-clip for putting all right, so the second way I use it is kind of as a um, warm-up and resistance training for putting. Uh, so I put the weight on the disc, clip it for safety. I, I use it as a as sort of a warm-up again, citing the you know the, the the donut weight for the baseball bat before you get up the swing. You take practice swings with that weight, right? So uh, it's just in essence the same thing. I'm taking practice swings with my putter, right? So I'll show you how it's how I usually do it, a couple of pumps here, and then take the weight off, 
right? And putt at the basket and just have it roll right back to you. That's the way to do it. But that's one way I use it, right? And I'll take and I'll go through a whole stack of putters uh, where I put the clip on, I practice a couple of times, take the clip off and putt it. And I'll go through a whole stack doing just that. Uh, the other thing that I feel that it does is it helps me release the putter flat. You, you can grab the putter right here, right next to the clip, right? It does sort of the same thing, right? It adds that weight. What I like to do is grab the, the putter uh, on the opposite side of the weight. And what that does is when I practice, it gives me resistance to help me feel the outside edge of that putter so I can just pop it up, right? So I give it a little pop up here and I can feel popping that outside edge up to get my putter to flat. So that way when I putt, right, it comes out flat. And I'm 0 for 2 right now, which is terrible. But I haven't warmed up. I'm just doing this cold. So forgive me for missing the, the, the putting confidently hole twice. That's how I use the D-clip for putting. I mean, it's an extremely useful to tool, and I've noticed, I I've done this in, in previous videos, but I've noticed a big uh, distance e increase in my putting. Uh, so I, I can putt pretty comfortably from 50, 55 feet, standing still now. The accuracy still isn't the greatest, but my distance is fine. The D-clip, what can the D-clip do for you? It can get you to 55 foot, 60 foot standstills, um, which is, in our sport, huge. So that's it for the D-clip. Let's move on to the Champ Cap Solo. So the Champ Cap Solo, you've of course seen this in a couple of my uh, IG reels. Um, maybe, have you seen it on YouTube yet? I don't know if I've featured this on YouTube yet. Put out by Putting Confidently. I have the an MVP, an old, an old version. This is probably, ooh, three or four years old now, MVP Black Hole. And, and I, I just can't say enough good about this. So this works on the theory of aim small, miss small, right? So what it does is it narrows your focus of your putt, whereas both of those putts that you saw that I threw earlier would have made the basket if this weren't on, but because this was on, I, I missed because I'm narrowing my focus, right? So if you aim at a smaller location and miss that smaller lo location, you will usually hit the larger location that you really want to hit, right? So my area to hit this basket is chains, right? Upper chains or middle chains. Now I've narrowed my focus down significantly with this putting confidently. That makes the window when I go out to my tournament feel that much bigger. That's what putting comp the, the champ cap solo does for you. And the quality in this thing is just fantastic. I, I don't know if I've gone through this. Uh, the material is really strong and durable. The, the stitching on it is fantastic. It's easy to put on, right? You have these little clips that just attach right through here and attach to your basket. I mean, it's, it's really simple to put on uh, and take off. Uh, I usually just leave it on now because if I don't want this, I just use the other side of my basket. Um, so I just leave this on my basket all the time. It's got a piece of piping. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring it in. Right here, see that? You have, a, you have a piece of piping that goes around here to give the circle some rigidness, right? The, the quality of this thing is just fantastic and, and the usefulness and the functionality is just uh, i don't know it's 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 made me it's made me hone in my putting and focus my putting and and get my accuracy down with my putting now you'll see i have a, a have a, a dot on here as well and they are useful don't get me wrong the dots are useful but you can miss the dot and still make the putt right this is very telling because if you miss your mark, <laughs> if you miss the circle, you don't make the putt. So it's instant feedback as, oh, I missed that putt. So this is a this is a great this is a great tool and I love using it. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually the Simon Lazat putting game. I have 10 putters, and for every putter I make, it's a point. Every putter that I miss, it gets thrown out of the game. 
until I run out of putters and I, we'll see how many points I score. I've, I've done this once before. I think I did this during um, Vlogmas, which not a lot of people watch. Um, so I'm going to do this again. It's a Simon Lazat putting game and you'll catch on 10 putters, a point per make. And then if I miss, they're out of the rotation. When I run out of putters, the game's over. See how many points I get. So I'm going to set up my camera. Uh, probably down here so you can see them go in and let's see how many points I get all right and just for reference I'm doing this from 18 feet right yes 18 feet 15 feet seems too short but 20 feet seemed a little long so we'll start at 18 feet and see how it goes All right, that's six points. I've lost four putters on to round two. All right, lost two more putters. That's four more points. That's 10 points on to round three. Thirteen points. Lost another putter. Three putters left. On to round four. All right, sixteen points. Didn't lose one that round. On to round five. Seventeen points. One putter left. Round six. 18 points. 19 points. All right, well, there you have it. 25 points, I don't know how many rounds, but that's the that's the gist of the Simon Lazat putting game, something that you can do to help with your putting. But there you have it, the uh, Champ Cat Solo and the uh, D-Clip, two tools that I'm using to help my putting, and they've both made a very big difference in my game, uh, and that is a fact. So. Links in the description below to get your D-Clip and to get your Champ Cap Solo from Putting Confidently. Go out and get them. They'll help your putting game tremendously. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks as always for subscribing and supporting. Till next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.